All right, so today we're gonna do a quick video on loading your smooth bore. We are out here today with the Jack Brooks Trade Gun 20 gauge, 62 caliber, and we're just gonna do a quick video on how to load. It's super simple. For beginners, all you need to know is your powder goes in first, something between the powder and the shot to keep them separated, and then something on top of the shot to hold the shot down. So if you do this, your shot doesn't roll out. So that's all there is to it. You can get as complicated as you want. Uh, you can get on the muzzle loading forum and put in Sky Chief load, and he's got a unconventional load that lots of people swear by. So there's lots of different ways to do it, um, but I'm gonna go through some of the basics today. So we're gonna get our charge of powder. So we're looking at 65 grains. And that's going to go down the chute first. And we're going to get in our bag. Now you can put a that toe. You can put a nitro card, such as this one, thick card. And I get my lube, get it hot and and in liquid form on the stove, and just throw a bunch of these in there and let them soak and then run it through a screener, screen out all the lube for use next time. And then you've got a soaked lube and that'll keep your bore, uh, the buildup in your bore from getting hard. And, and these will push them down every time when you shoot it out, the, the buildup will be soft, you push the next one down and it'll slide it down and you'll keep blowing, keep blowing out and, and never have any problem with buildup. So we'll start out, put this in, and then run it down. Then for purposes of what we're doing today, we're going to run an equal amount of shot. So, I don't know if you can see that, but there's our number five shot. And we're going to go right on top of it, right down the board. Get back in our bag and get a overshot card and a handful of toe. <clears throat> so, there's your thin overshot card. Thin is uh, three or four pieces of paper. I mean, they're, they're thin. And their bore diameter, so all you're doing is putting it in here, starting it square, make sure that you put that in there square and push it down square. You don't wanna have it going down sideways. So down we go. And sometimes it wants to kick back up on you with air pressure. If, that's, if it's doing that, and I usually do this, just take my knife and put a slit, maybe an eighth of an inch deep um, in that card, you some people notch it. I just put a slit in it. It helps just fine So make sure it's all the way down Make sure your mark on your ramrod is where a full load is now as you develop your load That's gonna change a little bit, but once you get set on what shoots best in your gun and what you like uh, hunting with or, or shooting at the range then you're gonna see just like that so much of the stick sticking up with this load I've got a quarter inch uh, maybe three eighths sticking up And there's your load. So let's get our horn. Sometimes I use a priming horn, sometimes I load right out of the main charge. So we'll come over here and we will shoot this first watermelon that's right in that target um, stand. So you can see it right in the middle. So let's, let's knock this one out. That's all there is to it. All right, so that's load one. Next way you can load is with just using three or four overshot cards. 
these are the thin ones, but three or four makes it a little thicker. Um, problem with doing it this way is, is you don't have one of those lubed nitro cards, a nice thick cushion of lube running up. And as that compresses, it squirts a little lube into the bore and keeps that soft. So we don't have that with this, but some people load this way. Put all three of them on together. Start them square. Now I didn't notch those, so that's gonna take a second to get this down with the pressure. Nope, not bad. That means your vent hole's nice and open. So there is our shot and three, I mean uh, our powder and three overshot cards. So equal amount of number five shot and an equal amount you'll hear people talk about a square load that's what that's what this is same amount of powder and shot um, you do it that way you only have to carry one measure I don't always do it that way but um, depending on what I'm hunting go right back in find us another card and just get your knife and give it a slice. So, got a little slice in it. And that'll let some air pressure start it square. I'll let some air through there as you push down. And I can hear it whistling through that slit and straight down. And we'll go with this next watermelon, far left. And sometimes they just don't want to explode. The next way we're going to do is with wads of tow. So, wad of toe roll that up into a nice ball that's a big awful big so I'll cut that in half and that'll be my two balls so it's not as ideal just using toe even though it's historically correct a lot of people use tow. Um, the natives used um, not necessarily flax fiber tow, but they used bark and in, in, um, uh, inner bark, kind of shredded it and let it dry, and it it was able to be balled up like tow. down the hatch and our two balls of toe so first ball of toe goes right down the hatch push it down a little ways And take your shot. I'm gonna go ahead and push this down. I wasn't happy with how tight that ball of toe was. Run it down. Run your shot down. So as you see, it's the same principle. You're putting down the powder. 
you're putting down a, um, a barrier between your powder and your shot. Keep them separated. Then you're putting your shot down and then you're putting something on top of the shot to keep it from coming out. So, nothing. So that's how you keep your load in. You can go hunting, you can go turkey hunting and you're using tow. So we'll hit the watermelon on the far right there next to those two square targets and above that far right um, bowling pin. Hang fire. And it hit it, but that watermelon wasn't great. I have not had good luck getting good watermelon this early in the year, I guess. So, we'll take one more shot. And if you're gonna shoot a second time after this, um, after your last shot, real quick, be aware there could be an ember in there. So run your powder down real carefully, keeping it away from your face. putting the, uh, the thick lubed wad, running it down. And thin wad. And we'll go for this, uh, this watermelon right to the left of the silhouette. And took out the bottom. So that's loading a smooth bore, nothing to it. Your powder goes in, you need to get online, you need to check what the powder parameters minimum maximum are for a 20 gauge 12 gauge 28 gauge 10 gauge whatever you have and stay within that parameter um, put your powder in something over the top put your shot same thing research how much shot something about one ounce is normal in a 20 gauge seven eighths to one quarter for that kind of thing 12 gauge you know you're one and a half one and five eighths one and three eighths and that in that area so make sure you're putting a, a proper amount of shot and powder in. So powder, a card in between, some kind of nitro card, wad, something in between, your shot, something on top. You're building a shotgun shell, down the muzzle, priming, or if you've got a percussion, putting your cap on and blasting away. Nothing to it. Super simple. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Bye.